Hey guys, so while I was busy showing you guys my face, the beast got leaked and it's coming from the legend himself, Evan Blast, a brand new set of official images showing off the latest colors of the Galaxy S8 family, the black sky, orchid gray, I actually like this orchid gray color, it looks like purple, and the third one, the arcadic silver. The Galaxy S8 series will get at least six color options, we could see them in coral blue and pink or even in green in the coming months, just like Samsung did with the S7 Edge, releasing the black pearl in December. 2016. Here is a clear hands-on picture of the Orchid Grey Galaxy S8 Plus in flesh, looking really nice, definitely a fingerprint magnet. The shape is changed a little bit from the back compared to the S7 Edge, resembles the shape of the Note 5. This is a perfect comparison pick of the S8 and the S8 Plus screen protectors versus the Galaxy S7 Edge and LG G6. Look at how small is the S8. A 5.8 inch Galaxy S8 is smaller than a 5.5 inch Galaxy S7 Edge, while the S8 Plus is definitely bigger than the S7 Edge, but not that much still for most people the galaxy s8 would be a sweet spot LG g6 is about the same as the galaxy s8 so small size of the overall phone but bigger display to play with this is a galaxy s8 lcd assembly leaks and here is the leak box of the verizon galaxy s8 plus you can see very neat actually just the s8 plus logo it's 64 gigabyte in storage size on the back it lists all the things it comes with so in addition to type c connector you will get a micro usb connector as well, stereo headset of course, the new and improved headphones by AKG and some paperwork. Also pre-orders for the Galaxy S8 could start on March 29 for Netherlands, pricing for the S8 will be $850 and $950 for the Galaxy S8 Plus. My kidneys are warming up, don't you worry Samsung. That icon is not an app drawer as some of you were saying, it's the camera icon. Right now it looks like the app drawer is not there by default, but uh, I'm pretty sure there will be some kind of option in the setting to turn it on. Samsung really wants to utilize the full space on the Galaxy S8 with the new display resolutions we have, HD+, Full HD+, and Quad HD+. By default, the Galaxy S8 will be on 1080 by 2220 to conserve battery and of course you will be able to change the resolution in settings all the way up to 2960 by 1440p. This is the first ever Geekbench 4 score of the Exynos 8895 variant of the Galaxy S8, a 1978 single core score, and 6375 multi core. Also, we have a first ever leak on the Galaxy Note 8. It's actually a diagram of its design. Looking at this, I can say that the Note 8 will feature an even more impressive design with a display that occupies an even larger portion of the phone's face compared to the S8 family, breaking the boundaries even further. You can see on the bottom we have the S Pen, the speaker, the headphone jack, but on the top there's another speaker grill, which means that the big dog may come with dual speakers. And on the side, of course, we have the SIM card tray. Now, keep in mind, this is a leak. We are still very far away from the official thing, so definitely we'll see a lot about the Note 8 in the coming days. I'm really excited for the Galaxy S8 again, March 29th, the official unveiling. Stay tuned for all the coverage and let me know what's your favorite color out of all these and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.